Welcome to setting up your weighted gradebook. In this tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to set up your weighted gradebook. So before we begin, let's go take a look at a completed gradebook. In here, you can see that this gradebook has been completely set up and you can see that this has categories. A category is a folder that you put your items in. So this one has a category called assignments and quizzes, and it has items, which is the singular of the assignment or a quiz that belong within that category. Here, there's also some midterms, but these midterms that you see listed here are not within the category. See the little indentation here? You'll be able to tell that one. These belong in that category. These here are not. So let's go and set up a weighted gradebook. So in order to set up that gradebook, the first thing that you're going to have is you're going to access grades and you should be prompted to go through the setup wizard. If you end up being on the manage grades page, make sure you go through the setup wizard. That setup wizard is designed to get all the specific calculations uh, to enhance that gradebook for you. So let's begin. So currently that this one is using that weighted grade system and we're just going to start right from the scratch. So I'm going to be click start. And remember, anytime that you see a percentage in the calculations, you're going to be using a weighted. And that's what this tutorial is about, is setting up a weighted. So we're going to leave that there and we're going to select continue. So it's going to default here and it's changed it to adjusted. So adjusted means that if your student, say, has 49.4 or 49% on a, a final grade and you want it to bump them up. So adjusted means you have that ability to go in as the instructor and bump that student up a smidge. The calculated grade is what's ever entered that's what's there. This is the default that we'd like you to choose. However, we like you also to have that ability if you need to be able to use the adjusted. So I would recommend selecting calculated final grade and select continue. The next that we need to go through is going through the grade calculations and we get a little bit of confusion here. So here we are, let's talk about drop ungraded or treat ungraded items as zero. What should you choose? Well, let's go through what are the differences. So when you're going to use a drop ungraded items, these are going to exclude ungraded items or any calculations. So if that student does not complete an assignment, you're going to have to enter that zero. So what's the difference with using treat ungraded items as zero? Items as zero will not be graded. So the students are going to start with an F and that's going to continue to grow. So they kind of sometimes do freak out about this, um, but um, it's your choice which option you'd like to go. Um, most of the time, this is probably the one that's being used the most is drop ungraded items. So let's go back in there and let's continue that setup. So I'm going to go drop ungraded items and we're going to keep these automatically updated and I'm going to select continue. Next is pick out your default grade scheme. So what is this grade scheme? So let's take a look. Your grade scheme is um, already been created and this was set up. So just select your department and then go all the way down and select continue. If you needed your grade calculations to have extra decimal places, you can put that in here and select continue. And then the next is just what you want your students to be able to see. Usually it's just everything is already checked. Click continue. And this is just a summary of what you selected and you're good and you're finished. And now you're going to be on. It doesn't automatically pop you in there, but basically this area here will be the same as what you get when you're selecting this Manage Grades. So if you go to Manage Grades, here you get to see it only has the final calculated and final adjusted. Those we don't pay any attention to at the moment. So let's go and create our gradebook. 
In order to create your gradebook, you're going to need your course outline. Access the Lakeland College website, go to Services and Facilities, and find Course Outlines. Find your program in here and bring it up. And just for examples for this one, I've already selected one, and here it is here. Once you have your course outline, scroll down and find the evaluation procedures. In here, you'll get to see this is what your students expect for their evaluations within their courses. So let's go create a course outline, or sorry, a course gradebook using this course outline. To begin, I'm going to read through these. So this one here has the evaluation procedures written assignments. I see that this one's plural and it says that it may contain some of this. So I'm going to create this as a category because these all look like individual items that will go in that category. So let me walk you through there. So I'm going to go new category. I'll create the category here in this example first. Doesn't matter if you do one or the other, but this will be just easier. Okay, so there's my category name. Now the weight that I have must equal the weight of that category. So here that category is 80%. So I'm going to put that 80% right here. So now that that category is set at 80%, so now what do you want to do with the items that are going to be added in there? Do you want to do it by points or are you going to do it evenly? So what it's going to say is evenly. So when we'd have the resume, the news article, the opinion writing, the sponsor request, the complaint, correspondence, are you going to want those all evenly? Are they all going to be different? So Sometimes we want to manually assign the weight to the items. Maybe the resume is going to be different weighting to what the opinion or the news article is going to be weighted at. Are they going to be points by all the calories? It, it just depends on what your preferences are. So I'm going to select here, and that's pretty much all that you need to do. And I'm going to hit Save and Close. And you'll get that message pop up because we're building that gradebook at the moment. So now I'm going to go, and I've got that category, but now I'm going to go add items in that category. So I'm going to first create my first one, which is resumes and cover. So I'm going to go new, and now this one is an item which is going to go into that written assignment category. So it's going to go numeric. And here, oops, I didn't like that. And copy and paste from there. Okay, so the resume and the cover letter. So what is this short name? So when you're building this grade book and you, you're gonna eventually have quite a few items uh, within it, and it's just here making it shorter. So if you wanna call it resume and maybe cover letter. Right, it, I'll show you why you're going to want to maybe use some of these short names here. So before you click next, you're going to go down and you're going to see that category. So it's going to default always to none, but you want to make sure that you go and pop that in there. And now it's going to indent within and it's going to be right in there. So now you're going to scroll down. When you're building your grade book, if you don't know how many points you want your, uh, say this resume and cover letter out of, you can just leave it at here. And before you score your students, you can come in and make that edit. So here's, you're gonna do your weighting. So do you wanna leave it at 10%? These here, I'm gonna leave as is, and I'm just gonna select save and close. So now you get to see that these numbers are gonna start to change. So there's your category. And now you have that item that is in that category. So now I'm going to go continue on and I'm going to go and create the next one. I'm not going to copy and paste in there because I didn't like that. And continue on. Okay. Okay. This is here just for, for you. So that's, that's good. So again, I'll do this one differently just so that you get to see. Let's do this one out of 40 points. 
and I'll leave this one here out of, uh, we'll do this one out of 20. Getting close. Let's take a look. See? See the differences here? Oops. Now, hey, there you go. So you see that this one, I automatically created it. Sorry, I created it, but I forgot to add it into that um, a folder. So how do we go back and fix that? I'm glad I did that. So let's click edit and remember add it into that category so now you get to go back in and you'll see that it's right there underneath that resume so i'm going to continue to make this grade book and i'll show you uh when i've got it a little bit more completed okay and here we are back at completing that written assignments category in our grade book you'll see that i only still have a little bit left of calculations to uh, get my grade book to equal up to 100%. So what is that? The next thing that I need to add, it looks like quizzes and in-class assignments for 20%. Okay, so let's go create that category. Okay, and here we are. We have our completed grade book. I have a category of written assignments and I have a category quizzes and in-class assignments. And with each of those, I have their individual items. So in here, you can add, of course, more quizzes or more assignments. However, just for this example, I only did one of each. And therefore, as I only did one of each, I just have them equally weighted at 50% there. So what happens is your total items must equal 100%. So that is your category here of 80 and your category here of 20, those are going to equal 100%. Plus the items that are in that category. So here you got 50 and 50, which equals 100. And here these, so you've got 20, 20, 30, 20, 10, those must equal 100. So let's go take a look where that short name comes into effect. So if you select enter grades, and here's where that short name is. Now, if you had a very long name for your assignments like this one, you see how much more space these little, um, your tables are gonna have here. So it's just gonna cause you to do more scrolling. So some instructors really like using that uh, short name. So this one is just resume and cover letter, news, um, and this one is opinion writing, writing sponsor requests. So that's just how that is there. And that has how easy it is to set up your weighted gradebook. Be sure to check out the other videos for entering your grades.